Hi, in this tutorial we will see a filter which can be extremely useful in a variety of situations. And in this example we see an initial point cloud that was used to generate a triangulated model. In this case we used the Poisson reconstruction. So we have the original data and what we got from the reconstruction. So typically when you make a reconstruction with the Poisson, you lose the color of the original data set. And this is a kind of a pity. And uh, we need uh, some easy way to uh, retrieve the color information, uh, possibly getting it uh, automatically from the original point cloud. And there is a filter which uh, gives you the possibility to make it in a quite easy way. You can find it in the filter sampling vertex attribute transfer. Essentially, this uh, filter transfers the attributes from uh, the vertices of a layer to the vertices of another layer. So, in this case, what we want to do is to transfer the color attribute from the vertices of the first layer which will be the source mesh to the vertices of the second layer which will be the target mesh so in this case we want to transfer the color attribute one interesting thing about this filter is that uh, the color is not the only attribute that you can, you can transfer so for example if you want you can transfer the geometry so you can change a bit even the position of the vertices of a, a, a mesh or a point cloud uh, by uh, having uh, as a reference another point cloud or mesh but you can also transfer other attributes uh, which essentially define a point in the space which can be the normal, the quality or even the selection so if you make a selection uh, on a layer and you want to transfer the selection to another layer this is a very easy and fast way to do that so if I apply the filter in a quite fast way you can see that the, the model from which we started, which was without color, add the colon transferred. So this is the original point cloud. And this is the model with the color transferred. So you can see that the quality of the color is uh, really comparable to the original one. And uh, we were able to transfer this attribute in a very easy way. Uh, an important thing about this filter is that uh, we are dealing with vertices so you can transfer the attributes which are stored in the vertices of a model so we are not really dealing with texture we're not dealing with the face faces at the moment uh, another important thing is that the transferring of the attributes value is based on proximity this means that the the quality the, the color value that will be assigned to each verte verte vertex of uh, the, the target mesh will be the, 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 the value of the vertice, ver vertex of the uh, source mesh which is the nearest one to the vertex of the target mesh. So this uh, filter works only if the, the two layers are perfectly superimposed or if they are superimposed at their best. And uh, this is why you can find here this max distance search, distance share search attribute uh, parameter which essentially tells you how, how far you have to go to try to find the vertex from which you can take the, the attribute value. Okay, so in this case uh, all the vertices which don't have uh, from the, the target mesh we don't have uh, a neighbor in the source mesh uh, which is uh, nearer than this uh, uh, distance in the word unit uh, they won't be assigned to any uh, value of color in this case. So uh, usually the parameter which, has, which is proposed by MeshLab is already the right one, but you can also play with this, especially if you want to be extremely accurate in, uh, in transferring the, uh, the attribute, or for example, if you want to assign color also to parts of the surface 
uh, which were not present before. Like for example, when you make a Poisson reconstruction, sometimes you reconstruct also part of the surface which were not uh, uh, represented by the original point cloud. But sometimes maybe you can get, want to get some color information. Clearly, uh, the color information that you will uh, retrieve from the original point cloud will be a kind of interpolated value of all the vertices which are the nearest to the, this uh, uh, kind of invented surface. But anyway, you can get quite nice results. So you can play with this parameter to try to get better results. But uh, just don't think about this uh, filter as something that you can use only to transfer color. Uh, in some cases, it can be very useful also to, to transfer the normal or uh, even the selection can be extremely useful. And even playing with the transferring of the geometry sometimes can be uh, a way to improve your 3D model. So this is extremely useful in several cases. Uh, it has been already shown in other, tuto other tutorials. But uh, just keep uh, in mind that you have this functionality mesh lab. Uh, thank you.